Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17 Hasu League Finals between Urbmon and Ranged. Upper right hand corner, we got Urbmon starting as the orange. Zerg, upper left hand corner, we got Ranged starting as the yellow Protoss. I wish I could do the color swap. Usually, Urbmon and Ranged are good about that, but also apologies to Ranged for game one not having his uh, name there. This is, of course, on Neo Sylphid, as you guys are all very familiar with. Right this second. I'm going to gaslight the entire StarCraft community into confusing these maps so I don't feel quite so alone. So everybody will be like, oh yeah. Anyway, top left hand corner Overlord is going to get first scout. We'll need to be a little bit careful. I always love seeing the Bengalos doing its little break dance as well. Just having a good old time in there. How he got in there? Not sure. Why is he staying there? Also not sure. Pile on down. Let's see if ranged. Ranged is known for doing kind of the cheater probe where you sneak in. It looks like he's going to hold for a gateway first, potentially. Usually when you see that probe hold, rather than go scouting out, that is the indication. But I'm also wondering if he's going to go for the cheater probe, try to find that overlord mid position across the 12th o'clock. It is going to be nine pool, or sorry, over pool. No, nine pool. I am seeing nine pool first. So this could actually punish ranged. And he is going to go for, okay, is he going to try to find Go the Overlord cheat route. Finds the Overlord at the 12 o'clock, knows what direction to send his Zealots. And also knows what direction to scout, which is actually huge on his part. Because against 9 pool, more often than not, you need to play defensively to start rather than aggressively. So it could have been punishing for him. Kakaru joining the cast. So Drone making its way out. He kn the, the counter of this as well. I'm not sure why Erdman's sending a scout out. <coughs> I think that must have been a miss... Click because he knows with that probe coming across the map where his opponent is as well. So it's going to be Zerglings to start. What Erdmont could do to be a little bit clever is since the nine pool scouted, toss out. Oh, look at this. Yeah, so he, being clever, in fact. So dropping the hatchery. Look at that. Although range spotted it. That was huge. So range able to sneak down, spot it. That is going to be a little bit of a time delay on the Zerglings, but that's going to be an economic advantage for Erdmon, and he's going to drop that gas as well. Overlord cycling all the way up the probe. See, you can see that the probe's already concerned. It's already in position as those Zerglings were coming out, so range's sense of time a little bit thrown off, and Erdmon not concerned with attacking the front, although that probe looks like it's on full return command. Let's see if the Zerglings are able to get the kill. Looks like not. Range going to go ahead and drop his own... Nexus behind this as the Overlord cycling all the way in to plant over the Nexus as well. Probe cycling back around, but won't be able to get up the ramp. Zealots holding steady. Yeah, definitely wants to see whether this is what he really wanted to see, whether a third worker was going to sneak out. Let's see if he tries to contest it. So at the three o'clock, we go ahead, we've got that hatchery dropping. But the shenanigans of this is Erdmon at the moment has, okay, he's now sending down some saturation. He's denying any sort of information at the main. So ranged until he moves in and confirms, first of all, the three o'clock and also confirm, because uh, you could be super sneaky, send that drone down there as though you're planning a hatchery and be building a bunch of Zerglings in your main. Now finally going to go ahead and pull the Zerglings out. A second Overlord on the front with that Forge spotted. Assimilator has been scouted as well. Nexus up. Several workers making their way across. And I missed this. The Zealot move out. Ranged now pushing those Zerglings. The Zerglings actually going in their own little corner to try to defend themselves. Herb monitored an anemic 13 and might be plummeting here. Going for a drone drill engagement trying to hold the ramp right this second. Loses an additional drone, and man, range looks good early. Can't believe I missed that. Bad minimap skills. And now range doing a cutesy thing and going for the inverse contain. Leaving two zealots on the ramp and leaving a zealot to go ahead and attack the hatchery. Erdmont has to wait for the zerglings to finish. Now going to go ahead and scoop down, try to get a surround on the zealots on the ramp. Able to do so there. But range doing catastrophic damage to start. Urban sitting at t 10 workers now at nearly the five minute mark. Cut gas went, got Zergling speed at the very least. 
are the cannons going to be in time now? Is the next question. And that I, we remember that gap from earlier. Now a counterattack from Urbmon able to wipe the cannons and sneak into the main. We remember this from earlier that this isn't a, a block. And Range did that in a previous match as well. Zergling scooting into the front. We have a photon cannon trying to warp in. Urbmon is actually focusing on the cybernetic score instead. That will delay Corsair potentially, which will help him out because he might not get forced to Hydralisks at the very least. Stargate did get dropped in the midst of this. I'm not sure if the Zerglings spotted it otherwise. And the Zerglings now fanning back out and all of a sudden range eating a lot of economic damage as well. Wild one in game two. Zerglings still here. Still able to pick out off cannons and that's lost resources every time. And is he going to go after the Stargate now? Or after the gas? The gas is not covered by the cannon entirely. Actually, never mind. It looks like it is. So Urban loses a few Zerglings right there, but flooded more Zerglings up. And right now, it looks like it might be... Is this... It's a pseudo-Zergling all-in. It's like halfway in between a Zergling all-in. Zerglings working on the Nexus there. Some Zerglings are blocked out. The rest of them going around that back edge. And honestly, Range doesn't have an excuse here. This is Polypoid. You have to know that that... Or I mean, it's neo Sylphid, whatever you want to say. So two cannons finally morphing into the natural. But this has given Urban some time to regroup his workers. He's still going to be delayed. He still is going to be forced into Hydralisks because that Stargate is in fact in place. A lot of delayed... A lot of delays both directions. So Urban, Okay, he's got the drones. Where are they going though? They need to resaturate back at the main. So more Zerglings scooting out. I still am going to say Urban's fairly far behind right this second. But he is making it easier on himself. Some more zealots trying to press forward. That's why the drones are pulling off. I guess they want to... Or it was a bad rally. That's what it was. For a minute, Urban was trying to rally forward aggressively. So additional hatchery down at the natural expansion. Urban needs to fill in some additional zerglings to deal with the zealots. Let's see if it's going to be counter damage the opposite direction. So it's just turning into waves of assaults on bases, potentially. These drones all exposed right this second. Going for the drill, Urban losing an Overlord in the background to a Corsair. And on top of it, yeah, he's not going to be able to defend his Overlord supply for quite some time. The Zealots have been wiped out. Some more Zealots on the front. This might open up Urban. So there are two cannons on the front. But I'm wondering if this is going to open up Urban to go for another Zergling Flood. We'll see. Fourth Hatchery building its way. For the moment, he's got the supply cap. Where's the Corsair? Lost track of the Corsair. There's the Corsair, starting to move its way out. That's bad news for Urban, because is this... Looking for any Hydralisks out in the field, and I don't think he has any, so that's going to be at least another dead Overlord. And the Zerglings once again getting the run by. Just three, though, and there's a lot better cannon coverage, but range now emptying that natural. And on top of that, Urban able to get a pretty good look at the tech to see where he's at. <coughs> gonna start working on a gateway as best he can. Also gonna see no plus one weapons. And working on the Citadel of Adun, a zealot trying to scoop in. This is with a little bit of micro. The Zerglings win. But not with the second zealot slowly coming out alongside. Corsair at least able to scout things out behind this, but Urban's done a pretty good job. He's not ahead. But he's done a pretty good job to keep himself alive in this match rather than just having it be a, a complete bowl over. Fifth hatchery now for five hatch Hydralisk. Plus one weapons on the way. Zealot leg speed on the way. And this is a complete scatter all the way around. Citadel of Adun damage, but Zealot leg speed about halfway complete. We got four cannons now on the front, which will help defend. So Urban, he's not going to be able to get a, a break, but maybe... Wants to consider a Lurker Contain as a follow-up, considering all of the delay that Range just had. The Corsair keeping active, at least wanting to present itself as a threat. Second Gas getting grabbed from Urban. Mostly checking the drone saturation. Is going to see that layer timing as well. The Hydral's trying to get what bonus they can. Actually going to step up and wipe out that cannon. It's going to cost some of them their lives, and it's going to be bonus here because that Lake Speed should finish in the midst of this. So right now the Hydralisks are faster, but shortly they're not going to be. 
That's actually a big thing for Urban to spot the Zealot leg speed timing as well. More Hydralisks make their way to the front. They need to be careful though, because there is like a sneaky route to the north. Range actually pocketing these Zealots. A Dark Templar out as well. All sorts of craziness. And the Corsair trying to push back the Overlords here at the 3 o'clock. There's not a lot of Hydralis defending there, and Urban's very, very distracted dealing with these Zealots, so he's having to micro all of this. This is giving a lot of time for that Dark Templar to make its way to the 3 o'clock and potentially get a lot of drone kills. So that's cleaned up. We got a drone making its way bottom right. Dark Templar is not fielding that way. We do have four... We got six Hydralisks and two Overlords. Are they going to be in proper position to defend here, though? Okay, they... Good spotting. And Dark Templar makes it back out. Still has an opportunity to go bottom right and be a hero. Hydralis regrouping towards that natural. There are High Templar here. I don't know if... I think Psystorm must have been... Uh, yeah, there's Psystorm. Dropping. Urban does have Lurker Tech, I believe, in the meantime. He's getting Spire as well. A Dark Templar is there bottom right, but Overlord speed's nowhere near finished, so this is very likely a dead hatchery. Yeah, this Overlord's extremely slow, and because of the Spire on top of the Hydral Sten, looks like, yeah, now Overlord speed getting started as an afterthought. So this is very likely a taken out hatchery, which is going to slow Urbmon's additional gas and additional mining down greatly, and he was already economically behind. Morzalot's marching out to create some chaos. This could be close, actually. We also have these three Zealots that are streaming across the map. So a last second cancellation, the Dark Templar wiped out. Three Zealots uh, gonna sneak back around and range before there's even an attempt at a contain from Urban. gonna go ahead and cap that 12 o'clock. Big gateway flood behind all this, going for double forge upgrades and he's got, it looks like a shuttle to scoop up to maybe try to slow Urban down between all of this. Against other Zergs, ooh, look at this. On top of everything else, we got a Muta switch. So a lot of Mutalists being hatched as well. An additional hatchery to go, it looks like play the air battle now. And this could very likely catch range completely off guard. He's got a lot of High Templar at that mineral only, but he's got only a single cannon at the main. He's not built Continuation Corsair. This is kind of a, a striker special. High Templar have been spotted. Looks like a lot of Dragoons surrounding them. Corsair's going to see that shuttle making its way to the north. But yeah, these Mutalists could strike a lot of damage. Depending. There's still an angle. So we're going to combine with the Hydralisks, make their way in. Yeah, the cannon's going to get wiped out. The shuttle going to get wiped out, and the... Oh, just need to dodge that side storm. If they just make their way to the natural, still a lot of damage to be run, and also a lot of High Templar to pick off in between. It looks like Urban prioritizing those High Templar. These three High Templar were well protected amongst that Dragoon attack force. So it looks like seven out of the initial nine. Is that right? No, this is more than seven. This is, in fact, nine. Nine out of the initial nine survive. A little worse for wear. Bottom right-hand base is now up for Urban. Range within 10 supply. Regrouping. Sending out some... He's actually... So the level 2 weapons, level 1 armor is going to complete. Do we have plus 1 on the Hydralis? We do have plus 1. Plus 2 on the way. Dark Templar Shimmer in between. An Observer as well. So a lot of troops to trying to make their way out to maybe batter top right. Looks like... Some Mutalisks losing their lives in between. This could this is gonna be a big story right here. Is this is three zealots to create a lot of havoc here bottom right. And that's gonna open up that Dark Templar, and the Observer could deal with any lurkers that were potentially there. So this might be a, a second downed base here bottom right from Urban. Sending the Mutalisks in. Needs to this is gonna be close, because that's a lot of damage that is very rapid, and it looks like Urban. Okay, now engaging. That hatchery at 130, 150, and gone. Beautiful play from ranged. And not missing a beat, going for a continuation attack near the natural expansion. Hoping that Urban overdedicated attack troops to the bottom right. Unfortunately for him, he did not he did not, but this still might scatter Urban. Empty a bit of an empty side storm right there. 
Zealot and a Hydralisk underneath. <coughs> the Mutalisk is pushing in. Sacrificing their lives. Not able to... So able to pick off a High Templar. And now range needs to flee. But Urban actually at a sizable supply deficit right this second. Range dropping back. Might just sacrifice that High Templar. Refielding up to the high ground. He's got some cannons in between. The worker is able to scoot in just underneath this. And now Urban in trouble because he's just now grabbing that fourth. Ranged is going to have that fourth up in plenty of time. Ranged was already economically ahead. He's up on supply and sitting pretty. Upgrade's a little bit silent right this second, but he's still in a pretty good position. He's doing a great job of spending everything he's got. Finally, some lurkers in play, but Urban has gotten well past the point where he would be going for a contain. It looks like an early drone cycle in the bottom right going to bring it near. I always like the ones going cross country. It's like they've seen things. Talk about all the monuments, the Grand Canyon of New of uh, Polypoid. Did it again. Lurkers scooping up, wanting to press on these attack droopings. They need to be careful, eating some Psy Storm. They're going to get wiped out. No Overlord nearby, but looks like range only sent out a control group. So losing portions of that army. The Observer is getting nicked on their tails. But Urban now overextending. Pincered between two armies, eating a lot of Psy Storm as well. The Overlord getting wiped out. So he's going to have to back up. Is just kind of sitting in that notch. He needs to take the bottom left-hand natural as well. Looks like he's plotted a lot of lurkers down bottom right to try to defend it. Range is already trying to set up at the 9 o'clock. We are not at hive tech as of yet, but we do have two additional evolution chambers getting planted to go for mass upgrades. And I'm wondering if Urban is hoping that upon capping... Looks like range is going ahead and making sure that that bottom right hasn't been grabbed yet. A massive army moving out of his base. 30 supply up and honestly could crush bottom right. Single zealot there. Urban moving that army down was on move command. So it's going to end up losing a handful of hydralisks. And range starting to crash down. I'm not sure if range recognizes that the supply... And upgrade advantage he has right this second. Never mind, upgrade's about even. Plus two weapons right there as well. Urban looking to engage on the high ground. But honestly, it looks like range just has too much. And he still has a lot of Psy Storm behind this. So trying to wide walk his way up. Going to deny Urban's mineral only. And this is Psy This is right over the rally point, And this is Psy Storm bait. The observers need to be somewhat careful over this edge. Looks like an additional observer, observer making its way bottom right just to see if that natural's been grabbed or if there's an additional opportunity to grab something. Emergency creep colony dropped. Several lurkers morphing. I don't know that they're going to be in time, though. Range pushing in. Great Psy Storm over those Hydralisks. The Zealots going to go ahead and get pinned back. Another beautiful Psy Storm. Looks like an observer has been picked off, but another one with speed able to immediately move up and provide some additional support. And range just getting some really good value attacks done here. The Lurker's finally finished, so Urban trying to evict his opponent from that mineral only. It looks like he is going to be successful in doing so. Single Lurker right there. Going to get picked off as well. Range just needs to regroup and macro up, and he should be fine. He needs to saturate that 9 o'clock as well. But right now, in firm control of this match, Urban still has not grabbed the natural in the bottom left. He is mining on three bases. His main is looking a little bit light. He dropped the three evolution chambers. But did he keep up with the uh, upgrades? It looks like so Carapace One's going to finish. But I don't see plus two or plus one weapons, plus one melee weapons queued up. So the evolution chamber not allowing him to get the uh, upgrade swap as well. He's been too busy dealing with these sort of attack forces. And honestly, he's just bleeding units right now. Moving them across the field and they're getting swatted. So range starting to make his way bottom right. Urban has some lurkers planted. Does he have a Nidus Canal here? I do not see a Nidus Canal. I don't even think Hive Tech is up. Hive Tech, yeah, just started for Urban. So he has to walk an army here bottom right. 
I don't see High Templar to push through a lot of the Lurker spread. So this could be a lot of damage done, but the Dragoon slowly pressing away. Now the High Templar there. Counterattack from Urban from the rear. But that is potentially a lot of bunched up Lurkers. And unfortunately, the way this is going to play out for ranged, I'm worried he's just going to donate an army to Urban. Beautiful side storm, though. So this army is now pinned in on both ends. And the Zerglings slowly surfacing in. The High Templar, most of their side storm looks like it's been expended. They might get lucky with an additional one. But the Dragoon's gone, the Zealot's gone. If he had the High Templar leading and side storming the Lurkers as he made his way up, he might have been able to wipe out these bases turn around and engage Urban as he was reinforcing, instead just donating a very high value army, was able to re-macro. He can do that a couple more times, but needs to be careful with it. Ranged already starting to try to establish bottom left, a nexus at the natural. He was already well ahead of Urban, Urban trying to grab that mineral only, still hasn't made any motions to grab the natural down here, and it looks like a shuttle scooting through some scourge trying to find it but and able to land but not before some side storm wipes out a handful of drones a couple zerglings also going to be cleaned up the mineral only bottom left at this stage it's range's game to lose range range hard to say that because it's ranged technically so it'd be ranged yes try saying that five times or at all honestly it's kind of a it's tricky doesn't sound right. Midas Canal is now up bottom right-hand corner. But range doesn't need to engage into Urban at this second. He can keep sending uh, random shuttle attacks out in the field, keep him occupied. This shuttle gets picked off. But yeah, if he can continue to deny that natural and the mineral only here bottom right and keep mining and maybe even grab the six o'clock, He's sitting pretty. His main's mined out. He's got that mineral only working. That 12 o'clock is still... So he's still at four bases. He's got a fifth base optional. Should he desire to take it. He's up on upgrades. He's up on supply. And Urban is still very cautious as far as... Gra he doesn't feel confident in his ability to defend a low ground natural over here. So still hasn't capped additional gas on top of this. Got... Transporting for overlords <coughs> alongside, so it could be a late game option for Urban. Now we see what would have been helpful earlier, which is that Psystorm leading up the high ground, but seeing the additional Hydralisks, range just going to go ahead and peel back and is going to go ahead and walk his forces out. Oh, never mind. Still going to drop some additional Psystorm up above. It'd be kind of interesting to see is if he kind of planted an observer or a zealot right here to see the reinforcement timing from Urban. But still not committing top right. I think with that Nidus Canal, Urban not all that concerned with that army in between. Ranged approaching that 200 supply mark. And has a lot of resources that he can trade at this stage. He's doing a great job macroing on top of everything else. A few units scattering down. Zerglings all of a sudden scattering from nowhere. Creating a little bit of chaos, but there's a lot of zealots to cover. And range looks like he wants to shove his way up into the 3 o'clock, or at least create a bulkhead between the 3 o'clock and the main. Zelt's finally able to wipe out that Lurker. They're taking a lot of free damage. This is a big bunch of Lurkers eating a side Storm right there. And that plus the Zelt's going to be able to clean them up. The reinforcement's getting chewed up by Zealots and Archons. And the Zealot's just taking care of the Zerglings there in between, and Urban bleeding a lot of troops great engagement from range you can see the massive supply advantage yeah the archon and the zealot line just completely obliterating the zerglings as they're trying to scatter across so this is going to be a dead three o'clock base which should just be three hatcheries the last but a, a dead gas as well for urban and urban's starting to fall apart a little bit the drone scattering he's moving in hydralists to maybe try to reclaim or at least engage this army does he have Plague upgraded? A Defiler moving up. It's wiped out. Yeah, he's mostly sending in units scattershot, and as a result of moving in the units scattershot, that's giving an opportunity for ranged to get some advantageous engagements and kills. Some Zealots now marching their way bottom right. They do not have Observer support. They'll spot the Hatchery, but otherwise be wiped out. Some High Templar moving up alongside. They need to be 
very, very careful, but a big strike here from range. All of a sudden, Urmana half the supply. This Corsair is still alive. Three, three kills. I think that's the Corsair from the beginning of the game. Maybe it was a new Corsair. Pretty sure not, though. A little bit of bonus there from Urban, a couple lurkers in between. Able to white things up, but we got a couple Zerglings just scouting things out. That 9 o'clock base is taken, that bottom left is taken. Honestly, if I would see this from Urban, he's a guy who fights to the end, but things are looking a little bit dire. Archon's leading, Psystorm as well. Archon's get splash damage in Cloud, so with sufficient numbers, they can clear out lurkers as we see. The hatchery spawning into the very warm hands of the Archons. Units trying to flood down. But again, yeah, just immediately getting cleaned up. And now, looks like it is going to be a dead natural expansion. Archon's still managing to chew up those Zerglings. That splash is something else. And range can honestly just hold here bottom right, and he's got Urban starved out, because the, the natural has a little bit of resources, the mineral only is the only thing mining, and Urban recognizes it, calls GG. 1-1 one, one. in this best of seven. It's looking exciting. Ooh, I got a big raid from Zero as well. If you guys support me and BSL Hasu League, Zero is the chief organizer of BSL. So be sure to support him, of course, on his Patreon or subscribe to Twitch. BSL Season 18. <laughs> I'm going to finish BSL 17 just as uh, BSL 18 is getting up and, run it, uh, up and running. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.